So today's video is going to be about what I take to the river. Nothing about makeup. Okay, I just wanted to make a video of the things I take to the river. Everything I take, we use, and it comes in handy. So I wanted to give a list of everything I take and why I take it, what's optional, what you can do without, but what you cannot do without, and just tips and tricks to help you out because of the things that you don't know that you should bring. Okay, first I'm going to start off with the things that you cannot do without. Like, you cannot. So one thing that's a really good thing to bring is cash. They'll charge you an extra dollar if you take your card. And it's $11 if you have your own tube. So I always like to take cash. That way, once I park my car, I take my cash with me and all my stuff. So I don't have to go back to the car to take my credit card back and, you know, leave it in there. It's $11 with your own tube. I would highly suggest you bringing your own tube especially if you're gonna plan to go more than once. So the ones that I use, they're made by Intex, and I'll link it down below. I think they run from anywhere from about 12 to $15, depending where you buy it from. Academy has them, Walmart has them, HEB has them, but as the summer progresses, they start pulling them off the shelves and putting like seasonal things. I know they sell them on Amazon too, so that's another good option. Oh, the tubes. So the reason why I like to have my own tube is one, it's cheaper. Two, it has a bottom on it, so you're not sitting completely in the water, like your bottom isn't exposed. It has a headrest and it has a cup holder. Usually the ones that you rent, they do not have those things. So carabiners. I put um, bright duct tape on mine so that I know which ones are mine and that no one tries to take them. So these come in handy like you would not believe for everything, but for what I mostly use them for is to connect tubes. So every time I go to the river I always see you know, big groups trying to tie their tubes together with the rope. And that's great and everything, like if that's all you have then by all means go for it. But if you can get some of these and you tie, I tie a, like a ring, like a loop on the front three knobs or whatever you want to call them of the tube. I tie one ring to each of those and that way it's easy to just link the carabiners to um, be connected with your friends. That way whenever you come to rapids or at the very end when you're getting out of the river, you can just unlink. It's so much easier than having to try to untie the rope or just cut the rope. So, these are really, really useful. I think we got two of these for a dollar at Walmart. I think they might have them on Amazon though. So, that is one of the biggest tips I can give you is buy the carabiners. Cooler. So everyone takes their coolers of water, beer, juice, whatever you want to take. We bring our own cooler because they do have them that you can rent, but I mean, if you go even a few times that adds up. And we take our own cooler and we bought the Intex tube for the cooler. So it's actually made to be a cooler all by itself but it does not work. It works for maybe an hour to an hour and a half at the most and then the ice is melted after that. It just can't withstand this Texas heat. If that's all you have then that's fine like go ahead and use that. But they don't allow styrofoam on the river so don't take those styrofoam ice chests because those don't work. So anyways, those Intex cooler tubes I think are $25 and it's really not really nice because you can even hook everyone's tube to it and that can be like your centerpiece. It fits one of those big rectangle coolers perfectly. Let's see. Make sure you take water. Like don't be stupid. You need water. I know it's the last thing you want when you're on the river sometimes because you're just having fun and drinking. but drink water in between your drinks. Try to, even if, if you want to, get those little fun size water bottles and chug one of those in between your your beers or whatever. Just don't be stupid because you will regret it later. That's at least a three hour float and you're just in the beating sun, you know, drinking alcohol most likely and dehydrating yourself. <clears throat> so that's one of my big tips, water. Um, snacks. Everyone is always jealous of my snacks. Take snacks. I know that's kind of the last thing on your mind also sometimes when you're getting ready for the river. You know, the first thing you think is beverages, but no, take snacks. What's easy to do is buy Lunchables. They're sealed. They're going to be fine in the cooler. You know, it's, a, it's just a good snack to have because you will get hungry. It's just like when you're at the pool and the pool for some reason just makes you hungry. 
you can get Lunchables or I bought those Tupperwares that have the screw on caps and I put uh, crackers in there. I'll put another one with cheese and ham in it. I just like cut them up in little pieces and make my own little Lunchables. You can take fruits or carrots and ranch, whatever you want. Don't forget your sunscreen because especially here in Texas, it's the sun is just beaming down on you and sometimes I feel like my skin is on fire just because the sun is just hitting me so hard. So take sunscreen. It's easy to just get the spray sunscreen when you're reapplying on the river. It's just, it's real easy. And make it a point to every time you stop on the little islands, you know, to take a break or swim, or swim make that your reapplication, reapplying time. Um, shoes. So, what I do is I wear a pair of flip-flops to the river and then I leave my flip-flops that way they can stay dry in the car and that way I that way I have them for after when we're done so I leave my flip-flops in the car I take off also take off my um, swimsuit cover-up because I don't want that to get wet and what I wear on the river is I wear Tom's I personally don't like Tom's I just don't think they're like look cute on me so my best friend's mom gave me a pair of toms and I just one day I just decided to wear them because they slipped on really easy easily to the river and I love them they're comfortable and they have a really good sole at the bottom they're easy to slip on and slip off they're just perfect for the river so I, that's what I use I use toms you can buy those five dollar water shoes from Walmart or Academy or whatever that works just as fine and I take them on and off while I'm at the river that way my feet can tan Every time we come up to rapids, I put them on. That way, if you, for some reason, flip out of your tube or just need to get out, you know, for whatever, you don't cut your feet up or anything because the bottom of the river is all rocks. It's rocks and tree branches, just all kinds of things. So it's just always good to have shoes and not flip-flops because flip-flops will either fly off of your feet during rapids or the current will just take them or they'll they'll flip out of your tube or whatever so it's just always better to have actual shoes um, a lot of people wear their chacos that's an excellent shoe to have as well I just don't like chacos but everyone else does I'm just weird so I just bought a new pair of Toms actually from Goodwill because I wanted an old pair obviously I'm not gonna go buy a brand new pair to wear to the river because they get all you know worn and nasty so these are the new ones I got and I just wash them in the washer so they're all wet right now. Oh, um, sunglasses. Um, I would suggest to not take your nice sunglasses. Don't take your Oakleys, don't take your Ray-Bans. Just don't do it unless you're planning on not drinking. Then maybe you'll have a better chance of, you know, not losing them. But sometimes they just f come off of you whenever, if you flip out of your tube or whatever, they'll just come off your head. If you decide you just want to jump in the river sometimes you forget you have your sunglasses on and they just pop right off of you so I take the cheap ones the cheap ones that I get at tailgates at free events stuff like that I just collect them and I just throw some in my backpack that way I always have the cheap sunglasses and same with your caps I wouldn't take your really nice caps because same thing can happen they can just come right off of you okay another thing is music a lot of people take their own waterproof speakers now stereo coolers or whatever at Dawn's I think it's $40 to rent and those are really loud and nice but it's $40 so I wouldn't get that unless you have like a big big group what I use since I go so often is I use the UE roll um, and this is waterproof thing on it and what I do is I clip it like this on the handle of the uh, cooler so if I bring my small one it like extends up and then I put it up there to where it's like loud above everyone and not like at our ear level to where we can't talk to each other but if I take my big one the one with the handles on the sides I just clip it to the side so this part is on the handle like pretend my fingers are the handle and then this is the rope Does that make sense no yes okay and it is waterproof. It has been dunked in the water several times by accident. I don't like to throw it in the water, obviously, but if it does, it'll be okay. okay so let me show you. Okay, do it right. So, 
That is how loud it gets. It gets pretty loud. I got this at Kohl's, but they also have it at Best Buy because I'm not sure if they sell this particular one at Kohl's anymore. I got it on sale for $70, but I think it's normally $120. I could be wrong. I'll link it down below. In order to play the music is I play this through Bluetooth through my phone. What I do is I put my phone in a, in a life-proof case and then I put it one of these. This was like five or six dollars at Walmart. I have been with two people who have gotten this one and it's broken on them, both of them. But I got it and it's been okay. I don't know if they just like were opening it too much or what. This plus my life proof case and then it's always around my neck so I won't lose it. And I would turn on find my iPhone. I know with Apple Music and with Spotify you can download playlists now. That way you're not using your data the whole time you're on the river. I think that one might be a little more expensive, but it's such a great investment, especially if you go pool the river or the beach a lot. It's just it's great. I even use this I use this on a daily basis. I use this when I'm watching shows on my iPad. I it's not very loud, my iPad speaker's not very loud, so I just pair this with my iPad and um, something else to take with you to the river is towels and extra clothes if you want. So the towels need to stay in the car. That way obviously they're dry for afterwards. Um, another thing that you need to make sure you have is a trash bag. So Texas State Tubes always gives us these trash bags to put the um, empty cans in. Do not litter. Please don't litter. If you see an empty can floating, just pick it up. Put it in your trash bag. It doesn't matter if it's not yours. Just, you know, treat it right. That way we can continue to have the privilege of taking drinks on the river and be nice and respectful. Like, this is completely optional, but this is what I always have. It's a paddle. Seems a little stupid to take, but it comes in handy. This was $10 at Academy, <clears throat> and we use it every single time. But everyone's always jealous of my paddle. So, 10 bucks, that's not bad. So, which brings me to my next thing that I take. A mesh backpack. So I put all of my stuff in this backpack and I'm always good. I have my sunscreen in here, my rope, extra caps for the tubes. What else do I have in here? Some chapstick. We take a pocket knife just in case we need to cut some rope or something or for the beverage cans, you know, you know, got it, you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, okay, and koozies, I always like to take koozies too. If you're going, especially with a big group, I would suggest to take an extra tube that just floats all by itself because those tubes pop out there, you can be as careful as you want and it still happens. When you go over rapids, sometimes you just scrape right over a rock or a tree branch and it punctures a hole. We always take it and we attach it to the outside of our group to where it's kind of just floating by itself, but still attached to us. And I just throw my backpack in there and like let it float next to me. And the past three times we've gone, we have used the extra tube because something has happened. Okay, so when you come to the rapids, when you come to the rapids, you'll know, you'll see all the rocks and stuff. You're going to want to put your shoes on, either your water shoes or your tennis shoes or your whatever you brought. Put them on. Then you're going to want to unhook from everyone. It should be no more than two people attached, but we always go individually, it's just easier. That way you don't all get caught. Like if one person gets caught, sometimes that makes all of you get just caught and stuck in the where, to where you all have to get out and you know, try to maneuver around the rock or whatever you're stuck on. So that's another good thing about the carabiners. It's real easy if you're coming up to a rapid and you didn't realize it, it's not that difficult to unhook rather than untying. So one person will stay with the cooler and then everyone else pretty much goes on their own. We just make a designated meet meetup spot. Oh, whenever you also come up to rocks, even if you're by yourself, lift your ass up. So you should be on your elbows or forearms and on your legs. So you should be horizontal on your tube because those rocks will ram into your lower back or your butt and it hurts really bad, especially the next day. One other thing that we've started doing is we bought bright ass duct tape 
and we've labeled all of our tubes that way no one can take them or if they do like we'll obviously see it out ahead um, oh another thing that people don't think about your car key so when you get to the river and if you have one of those car keys that has a remote with it I would suggest putting that key in your friend's car hopefully if that doesn't have you know a key with a remote on it we attach our non remote key to the inside of the backpack so this backpack is nice because excuse me it has this little this little thing on it and we just clip it in here and we stick it in this pocket right here that way it we for sure know we have it it's secure it's not going anywhere yeah I think that's everything so let's do a rundown things you should not go without tube cash water sunscreen very important um, if you don't want the tube, you can rent them, that's fine. I've already told you why I think you should get your own. Things that are optional, the cheap sunglasses, the speaker, the phone case, the backpack, the paddle. Yeah. Oh, and shoes. Don't forget your shoes. That's not optional, I don't think. And that's everything. Did I mention beer bongs weren't allowed? I think I did. They're not allowed. They'll make you go put it back in the car. Um, no glass, uh, no styrofoam, and... If I forget something, I'll just write it in the description bar below. I think that's it. Now I think I'm done. So, I hope this video was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.